Hello folks and welcome to another exclusive property listing with Peter Clark in Lamington Spa. Here we have a three double bedroom semi-detached family home located on the ever popular Mighton Road, lying with an easy reach of the fantastic local schooling, commuter links and amenities. Let me show you around. So starting off, we'll go across this large driveway capable of accommodating six plus cars. And we'll head through that double glazed door into the entrance hallway. So entrance hall has stairs rising to the first floor landing. To the rear of the picture there, you can see the extended sitting room. Whilst off to the left is a further living room and home office. To my right hand side, we've got the expanded and refitted kitchen dining room. What we didn't see in the, uh, the picture there was also a guest WC and utility, but we're gonna start off with this expanded and refitted kitchen dining room. Done to a beautiful standard here. You've got a large double glazed bay window to the front elevation. And as you pan round, you can see feature fireplace with alcoves fitted out with all the kitchen units as well. An ample space for dining for six to eight, maybe even 10 guests if so required. That opens up into the kitchen portion of the room, which has that open aperture there leading through into the sitting room, creating a real contemporary feel to the space. As you can see, we've got a range of shaker style wall and base mounted units with contrasting Corian work surfaces over. And we've got integrated appliances, including Neff fan assisted double oven, combination microwave, induction mounted, uh, sort of counter mounted hob, with overhead extractor and glass, um, sorry, glass and a brush stainless steel extractor, glass splashback. There's a full size dishwasher in there as well. And even a one and one and a half bowl sink and drain unit with a separate drinks cooler as well. Space is provided there for a large American style fridge freezer, but that one isn't um, included in the sale. And as I say, we've got this fantastic open aperture through into that lovely sitting room at the back there. And that has views out onto the wonderful garden. Anyway, we will show you that in just a moment. So spinning back round, as I said, you've got plenty of room here for dining, furniture. You could even put an island in this space as well if you wanted. Loads and loads of storage as well as those lovely display shelves at the back end there. And it is double glazed and gas centrally heated throughout. Boiler went in about five years ago and has been recently serviced. In fact, it was serviced in May 2023. So there's nothing to worry about there at all. And then if we walk back through into that entrance hallway, we'll go straight across and into what would have been the originally the living room, formal living room of the property. Now is a family room, living room, home office, really useful, multifunctional space. Dual aspect double glazed windows. You've got that smaller double glazed window out looking over the uh, rear garden. And of course, another glorious double glazed bay window to the front elevation. Now we talked about the parking while we were out there very briefly, but as you can see, it is an expansive driveway capable of accommodating six plus cars comfortably and giving you space to turn around. A really useful and adaptable room this. Again, Centrally mounted feature fireplace. It's an electric uh, fire in there, but there is a chimney on the roof. So you could always adapt log burning stove, something of that sort, gas fire if you wanted to, but you'd need to take further advice on that. Heading back through into the hallway and second entrance through into that kitchen area there. So we'll just see that from a slightly different angle. One thing I didn't mention as well, there's, there's also a really useful understairs pantry cupboard located just on the right hand side there as well so additional storage there in the uh, in the kitchen that's the sitting room straight ahead of us with the wing mat chair and then off to my left we've got utility with an obscured double glazed window to the rear elevation but it also is fitted out with a guest wc as well so again multi-function really useful and practical space Heading into this lovely extended sitting room here. It's worthwhile pointing out as well, if I can angle the camera up. There we go. High level roof lights all the way across the, uh, the roof there. Throwing loads and loads of natural light into this space. And you've got the lovely 
sliding patio doors providing views and access straight onto that dining terrace additional double glazed window off to the left hand side and then there's another access door here and if i can open this up you can see there's a little side lobby porch which goes out onto the rear deck as well but we won't go out that way we'll go out through the patio door when we do go out but i'm going to give you a sneak peek because i always do and look at that absolutely glorious huge split level dining terrace making the most of the sunshine today plenty of space to be able to sit out and enjoy the sun enjoy some drinks enjoy some food and good company on the right hand side of the picture as we look at it right now is gated side access which leads up to the front of the property and of course that is lockable what i haven't talked about is the garage which sits alongside the house now that measures in excess of 31 foot in length and it's somewhere in the region of nine foot eight wide from memory so really really large garage space there easily accommodate two cars but it makes a great workshop storage space and of course it could always be adapted and brought into the main body of the house as well subject to planning and the house itself with a plot this size does lead or lend itself to additional extension should you wish to do that obviously subject to planning permission so here we are first floor landing coming off those stairs which rise from the entrance hallway really really big space here ideal for home study area for the kids play area little reading space or just additional storage furniture should you wish and again we'll show the view out the back lovely view out to the garden there and if i spin around we can get an idea of where we are so the room on the right with the yellow bedspread that is the bedroom one the room on the left is bedroom two around the corner to the left is bedroom three and the refitted shower room is off through that door just there but we're going to start with bedroom one and do them in order for you so a lovely double room this again very bright and airy huge double glazed window to the front elevation throwing natural light into this space and you've got three double fronted built-in storage wardrobes with overhead storage cupboards now you've got a mixture of shelving and hanging storage space in there but loads and loads of storage that's the main thing and if i spin around you can see it's a really nice size double room and those double glazed windows to the front there from here again you can get an idea of just how big that space really is out the front so if you've got multiple cars in the family or you've got lots of guests coming around you've got no problem at all with providing parking for everyone obviously this house is built in the 30s so you've got some lovely original features like these doors and back onto that landing space now we'll head into the shower room here this has been recently redone by the current owners to a very, very nice standard in all fairness. Oversized shower cubicle there, dual headed shower, and that's mains fed. Then you've got a dual flush low level WC and this wonderful contemporary style vanity unit mounted wash hand basin with chrome fittings. That does also benefit from under counter storage and you've got obscured double glazed window to the rear elevation. There's another one inside the shower cubicle as well. It's fantastic. Tile, tiles go to uh, all walls and onto the floor and just behind the door you'll see there's a centrally heated towel rail as well right just backing up there and we'll go into bedroom two another generous double room again with a double bed in as well this one also benefits from a double fronted built-in storage wardrobe this one also has overhead storage cubbies and it has the double glazed bay window to the front elevation as you can see the way it's configured at the moment plenty of room for a double bed chest of drawers bedside table and even a desk and additional seating as well so a really good size double room right let us continue if i spin back around here We'll head out into bedroom three. Again, accommodating a double bed in here. This one has no built-in furniture, but you can see there's plenty of space for a large freestanding wardrobe, should you wish. And of course you get 
lovely views out to the rear garden there as well. But plenty of room for a full size double bed in here and bedside tables. And as I say, additional space there for the wardrobe as well. I hope this, this uh, translates onto the video. It's always difficult to, to know if it works until we actually see the video after the fact, but hopefully that's showing that you have got three good usable double rooms. So brief recap of what we've got. Three double bedrooms and a refitted family shower room, sitting room, living room, guest WC and utility, expanded and refitted kitchen dining room and rear access lobby. If we head through the kitchen here, we can head out into that wonderful rear garden. Oh, just in time for the birds to start singing. And here we go. This dining terrace really is fantastic. It's in really good order as well. Well maintained by the current owners. giving you ample space for exterior dining, barbecues, garden parties, whatever you need. And if we pan round, you can see it really is a wonderful, wonderful space. I'm gonna spin it round again further because this gives you an idea of where we are. So that window on the right-hand side of the picture there was the uh, living room or sitting room office at the front of the property. The obscured window there is the guest WC and utility, and then you've got the lobby, which leads out onto the living room. So as the living room window, and then of course the patio doors directly from the living room itself. Down this side, as I mentioned before, we've got this 31 foot garage there, which has lockable gated side access. And then you've got pedestrian access directly into the garage. The garage also benefits from uh, an electrically operated roller shutter door which is newly installed and it's got both power and lighting inside as well. Now let's step out onto the lawn. As you can see, recently striped up by the current owners. Again, they're maintaining everything to a very, very lovely standard. Well stocked plants and shrub borders on all sides. Fencing's all in really good order as well. The summer house will stay, I am told. So again, another lovely outside space for you to be able to sit and enjoy the sunshine when we get it. And if I pan round here, you can see what a glorious space this is. So there we have it, folks, Mighton Road. I think you'll agree, another wonderful instruction exclusive to Peter Clark in Leamington Spa. And if you have any further questions relating to this, or any of the other properties on our books, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. Thank you folks for watching and liking, subscribing all our videos. We really do appreciate the support and make sure you do subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest instructions that we get on. Thank you ever so much. My name has been Matthew Coral. Thank you for watching.